Hello and a good day to everybody joining me. This is Pastor Kevin bringing you today's daily devotion. We are in this series where we're talking about deep worship. And the whole point is, is I wanted you guys to recognize that the music that you listen to, um, especially I mean, when we're talking about at church, it, we pick them on purpose. Um, uh, we we work pretty hard in making sure that, um, and when I say we, I mean this is really more the Drew Dowler and his team. They do a fantastic job of, of kind of coming up with um, uh, good ways of reminding us as we sing together in community to our King, um, <clears throat> just reminding us how deep and rich that theology is. So m- there is a lot of, um, you know, popcorn, cotton candy type stuff out there. And then a lot of our contemporary music, not necessarily Christian music, just music in general, has a lot to be desired um, just because it's talking about themes that our culture is very enamored with and humanity has been since the beginning of time. And uh, we want to point our voices and our worship elsewhere. So um, the whole purpose here is to find some of those things. And, and, And I want you to dig. I want you to look at the songs that you like and look at the lyrics and try to determine where in the Bible is that from? What are some of the elements and the themes that it's pulling from? Um, how obvious is it? Uh, sometimes our songs maybe, they're so poetic that I think maybe we even lose track so that if someone else was listening to the song, someone who didn't know Jesus, they could point that to any one of the things that they worship, right? <laughs> so that's the other, other point of clarity. So anyway, today we're going to talk about um, Come Thou Fount. Um, and I think we've before we've talked about there's a the, in the second verse there's this idea of an Ebenezer and we've talked about that before. I'm going to go to the third verse, um, which basically um, talks about um, um, this idea of of binding one my you know binding myself right. Uh, the whole idea of prone to wander. Yes, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Um, There's this idea of prisoner or slave to Christ that is, it's big in the New Testament. Um, So that that verse actually goes, O to grace, how great a debtor, daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. Right, so there's this idea of binding where I am... I'm a, de- a debtor to grace, um, and there are a lot of places we could go for this. So in this case, I'm going to go to Romans 6, starting with verse 15, and this is God's word for us today. It says this, What then? Are we to sin because we are not under law but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourself to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that you who were once slaves of sin have become obedient from the heart to the standard of teaching to which we were committed, and having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. Do you get that? I mean, it's, it's, it's powerful. We, we don't like the term slaves, let's face it. The, the idea of slavery is, is very gruesome and awful thing uh, in, in our culture. Um, and that's, that's good. I mean, that's a good thing that we would look at slavery that way. There's still slavery all over the world. But this kind of slavery that, that Paul is pointing to, he's basically saying, hey, by nature, you are a slave. The matter is, what are you a slave to, right? So this is talking about it different than the cultural term. This isn't chattel slavery. This isn't being necessarily owned by a person. Um, but in a way it is, in the sense of you're either owned by your sin, by the things that drive you, the passions that you are being pushed around by, by the winds of change of those passions and so forth, or you're driven by righteousness. And there's only one who truly showed us what righteousness is. He's the one who grants us his righteousness through his blood, through his sacrifice. We actually are, are made clean. We can say that we are righteous by him because of what he's done, not because of what we do. So in a way, we have bound ourselves to thee, to him, right? And that's super good news. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but there are days I wake up and recognize, man, uh, I, I feel the weight of my own failure, the weight of my own uh, brokenness. 
And there is no better feeling than to be able to lay that out on someone who I know can take it and do something with it, right? So this is where, this is that point where for this song, this is one of those powerful songs for me. I like, this is a great idea. This is like, hey, I can take all of, all of the thing, you know, I am, I'm prone to wander. <laughs> Lord, I feel it, you know, it's that, I, I, I can sing that with truth. Um, but he actually would do, uh, would make this gracious act, this painful, suffering, horrible thing and turn it into wonder and majesty on our behalf, right? So we can actually attach ourselves to him. When we say we are in Christ, that is what we're doing. We're saying, look, we, we rely on him. We go to him. It's his spirit we listen to. He is the one who is in control. He is the one who's majestic and sovereign, and he is the one whom we follow. Praise be to God that he's there, right? That, that's the whole point. So I pray that you would lean into that. Think about that today. And then again, keep digging in your own songs. Figure out what uh, maybe they're pointing to. And, and maybe maybe some of this is we need to change some of the music we listen to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't listen to a ton of music. Uh, but uh, man, when, when we worship, it is a powerful thing. And I am, I am so thankful to worship with my church family. All right, let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for the hope that you give us. We thank you that we can sing, that you have granted us this ability to worship you through our song, through our lives, through our very being, because of your son. We want to be slaves to you. We are debtors to grace, and we want to bind ourselves to you, not to the things of this world, not to our own ideas or our own... Um, failings or brokenness, but to you. We thank you that you have opened the door for that. We thank you for your redemption. We thank you for your, your transformation of us, our sanctification through your spirit. We want to honor you today and every day. We want to love you. We want to give you thanks in everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we'll have a special devotion tomorrow.